Like many health systems across the country, yours would like to reduce the rate of pressure ulcers among long-term patients. Your job is to make this happen, and you're going to try to educate your nurses and physicians about pressure ulcers. Now, with any educational system, you actually want to know that it makes a difference. So you are going to hopefully find out if your nurses and physicians know more about pressure ulcers after they've had your training than before they've had their training. You're going to give them a pre-test, then give them your program, then give them a post-test, and that way you can hopefully see if their knowledge has increased. So we have to figure out what the correct statistical test will be to determine if their knowledge has increased or not. First question, is the data that you're collecting quantitative or categorical? So think about what the data is, pause the video, and decide. And when you're ready, move on. This data is quantitative. What you are actually collecting are the test scores of each participant. Next, you want to determine how many samples you have in this study. So how many samples of data are you collecting? Think about this, pause the video, and when you're ready, move on. This is a challenging one in this example, because if you think about it, you only have one set of people, one sample of people, the physicians and nurses who are taking your training, but you're actually collecting data from them twice. You're measuring the pretest scores and you're measuring the post-test scores. So you actually have two samples of data and there's a natural pairing between the pretest scores and the post-test scores. You can pair them by the person who took them. Person A's pretest score goes with person A's post-test score and so on. This is the two sample special situation. Alright, so now what is the ultimate goal of the test that you're doing in this study. Are you comparing data or are you looking for a relationship between the two scores? Again, pause the video and move on when you've decided. In this case, we are trying to compare our two samples of data to find if there was an increase. Are the post-test scores greater than the pre-test scores? Not asking if there's a relationship, not if the pre-test score predicts what we're going to get on the post-test score, but is the post-test score greater than the pre-test score? So we've answered the three questions. Now let's answer the big question. What is the appropriate test to use? So again, Pause the video, and when you've decided, move on. The appropriate test to use is a paired t-test. This is that situation, the two-sample special, where we're comparing means of quantitative data that it is possible to use a two-sample t-test. But here, I want to use the fact that this is paired data. I want to compare the difference in score each person's post-test score minus their pre-test score to determine if that's positive, if there was an increase.